Hey, Ryan here, and I wanted to make this video to document an issue I've been having with the Google Ads account that I manage. And the issue I'm having is with an account suspension policy issue. And I've done some research on it. I know a lot of people are having this problem and it has to do with the circumventing systems and malicious software policy. And this account in particular, which I'll show you some of the details, got suspended just kind of out of nowhere. So I'll take you into the account real quick. And if I scroll over one of the ads, well, first of all, at the top, you see the account is suspended. So this account has been running for a few years. Um, I've been managing it for maybe about a year. It's pretty simple. One campaign, simple website, not a lot going on. And then all of a sudden I logged in and the account was suspended and it says malicious software and circumventing systems. So for those of you who don't know, I'll give you a quick look at the um, circumventing systems policy. So I can link to this policy, but it's under the um, heading abusing the ad network, uh, Google ads policy. There's one that is circumventing systems and I'm not going to read all this, but there's cloaking, which has to do with showing different content to certain users using dynamic DNS to like switch, show people different things, you know, a different website than what they thought they were landing on. Uh, repeated policy violations across accounts, bypassing enforcement mechanisms, by creating variations of ads. So trying to trick the system by like maybe misspelling something or something like that. After previous suspension decision, attempting to use Google ad system again by creating new accounts. So none of these are things that we've done on this account. Also abusing Google ads product features in order to show policy non-compliant content to users, submitting false information as part of our verification program. So this account actually is verified. So yeah, none of these were really issues. So looking at the policy manager, uh, you can kind of see in your own account the history of your appeals. This account has no appeals except the one I've submitted for this suspension, which isn't documented on that page. The only policy issue it's showing in the history is some images that were disapproved. So I chose six stock images. So this is a normal policy you'd get from an image extension or asset with like text over the image. So that's, that's normal to get a disapproval. I'm not sure if these image disapprovals have anything to do with this suspension. I'm guessing they don't, but I'm kind of looking at all options here because um, you know, I was just curious what policy issues this account has had. So overall, very few and only on a few images that were stock images chosen from you know the library that they provide. So this issue occurred around December 12th of 2022. It is now February 3rd or uh, it's February 16th. So it's been, geez, a few months now. I think I submitted the appeal late December and it's gone, you know, it's been weeks at a time before I've heard from them. And basically I'll show you the email I've been receiving from them. So here's a typical email I've received back from them. Um, and again, it took a long time. I mean, the first one might've been two or three weeks before I got this email. Thank you for waiting while we review your account, suspension appeal after reviewing your case and taking feedback into consideration. We've confirmed that your account was and still is in violation of our Google Ads policies. We will not be re reactivating your account. Please don't create new Google Ads accounts as those may be suspended too. So basically they're saying it's still in violation. So I've kind of asked, I've replied to the email and asked like, what is the violation? Because I don't, I don't actually know. I would fix it if I knew what it was. So I've received this email maybe three times now in the last few months and they haven't given me any information about what the, I know what the policy violation is, it's circumventing systems and it is malicious software, but I don't know why. They're not able to give me any detail or they won't. I assume they know, but they won't tell me. It's hard to really know. So, I mean, it's very confusing. I don't know if they're just inept in this area or if they're following some policy or, you know, you start to wonder about other things that might be going on. So that's where I'm at. I have gotten my Google rep involved and they're kind of hitting hitting a wall with the policy team and they're not really able to make much progress either. We did kind of narrow down that this specific account has been labeled for cloaking. So that's again, the issue I read about on the policy where it has to do with showing people different things on the website. So I'll show you the website that we're advertising. It's very simple. There's nothing weird going on with the domain. I mean, I even kind of scanned the code and I'm looking for links that might be going to malicious websites. I have seen that in the past. I haven't seen suspensions for that, but I've seen disapprovals and then we fixed it. You know, if a site gets hacked and it's showing some weird content, 
you know, that would be normal. But for them to just put these two policies on and suspend it the same day is, is odd. Pretty basic website, not a lot going on. It is in the legal industry. So I don't think that really makes any difference. But again, no weird stuff going on with the DNS, domain, or cloaking. So I have seen some other people dealing with this. I just did a quick search on Twitter for Google Ads circumventing. It's February 15th, and yesterday, Valentine's Day, there was this huge mass campaign disapprovals, as you see right here. So this has happened the last two years, supposedly, according to this post here. It happened on Valentine's Day 2022 and then 2023. I, In my accounts, I probably had 30 accounts where I got a notice within a few hours that they were disapproved for this these same two policies, circumventing systems and malicious software. I don't think this is related to this account, but it is interesting because it's the same two policies that they, for whatever reason, they're having an issue with. But there are other posts, like here's one here. It says, over a year ago, I tried Google Ads. Before I could even finish, my entire account was suspended for circumventing systems, tried for two months to talk to anyone at Google who had a clue about what this was and no one did, so I gave up. And then he says they just, um, or she says, they just unsuspended my account. So I'm kind of hoping this gets unsuspended, but I, I don't know. Um, for now, we're just continuing to contact them. Um, here's another one, any of you, oh, this is regards to the Valentine's Day one, but there are some in here, people who, you know, have just hit, hit with it randomly and had account suspensions. But a lot of these are, are the, talking about the Valentine's Day one that happened yesterday. So really the reason I'm making this video is kind of to document what's going on here. Maybe it's going to be helpful to other people. I'm curious to hear in the comments if you've dealt with this, if you're currently dealing with this, if you're making any progress or getting any answers or resolution to your account suspension. And then my plan is uh, maybe to make another video or at least update in the comments to let you know how this resolved, whether this account never gets reinstated or maybe it will. I'll, um, I'll update you either way. But yeah, let me know in the comments uh, your experience. And if you have any questions, feel free to post those in the comments as well. I'll do my best to answer them. But thanks for watching the video and make sure to stay tuned for updates on it.